everybody, this is not a spring chick. And of course, unemployment figures went down as miraculously. Oh wait, people aren't being hired? Are they falling off the job rolls? Oh, anyway, Joan Jett, of course, is being honored with the Sunset Strip Music Festival kicking off for this weekend in Southern California. But, oh, wait a minute, unemployment figures are down. Good news is on the horizon. Yes. And for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Glasses. Well, I wear glasses and I actually can't see up close. <laughs> I can do this, though. And, <laughs> and why are you juggling today? Well, because the President of the United States just to the consternation of everybody other than Wall Street, just revised the unemployment figures. So now, even though we badly missed the total that they needed to make the unemployment figures go down, the unemployment went down this morning, which is impossible. But after 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they let out the fact that, that all the jobs that were created were part-time work and that the, the latest figure is, is that, um, that, uh, that Three out of every four jobs that are being created under the Obama economy are being created for people with less than a high school education. Oh. The big pay and monthly uh, hourly wages went down for the first time in months this last month in July. And it's all over for the Republicans. John McCain today said that unless the Republican Party gives the president some victories, especially in in uh, sequester and in um, uh, in financing these terrorist countries and in immigration reform, the Republican Party will cease to exist by 214. Isn't that amazing? 214 is when Obama, uh, when, uh, when McCain is running for re-election and he knows because this morning they said hell will freeze over before that man's got to get our support in Arizona anymore. Wait, and didn't the Republican Party take out billboards or adverts? No, no they took out they took out a, a full page ads today saying that they were no longer supporting John McCain for the Senate. Okay. And then that's when uh, that's when McCain basically went even further to the left. I mean, McCain. Okay, here it is. McCain was a moderate Democrat in Arizona. You can't get elected as a Democrat in Arizona because it's a Republican. It's a red state. So he became a, a he became a liberal Republican, and now he simply became a liberal Democrat. Mm -hmm. And surveillance critics face Obama in the Oval Office. But don't worry, John McCain and, and Lindsey Graham were there on the Republican side. M M Graham is also not going to get re-elected uh, re in his state. To assure these people, well, we're not doing anything, unfortunately, right after they said that, it was put out. The Russians put out a thing on Pravda, which went to all the newspapers of the world, which basically said, the United States, uh, the people working, Hal, Hal Snowden got away with it. Every individual working for the NSA monitoring stuff has the ability to monitor any piece of communication, both telephone or, or internet, at their own discretion. And right. to save it for, at their own discretion, which is exactly what Obama basically told the people wasn't happening again. Which makes, but you know, I, I didn't know they were doing that. They didn't tell me they were going that far. That's, now you know how Snowden managed to do it. He just did. He just didn't do it. And one, he just did it on the whole country and picked up the information that way. Guess what? He must have as far as in files that he's got on. Uh, probably because he's got something on the president. I would assume too, because my guess is he was listening to that guy's phone calls because. Didn't they tell him not to use a BlackBerry anymore? Mm -hmm. And FDA wants U.S. food safety standards enforced by importers. That's never going to happen because they don't have the same rules we do. So therefore, anything, a lot of what we get is comes from a foreign country as far as fruits, vegetables, and now a lot of the meats. And they're all coming in with problems. I mean, how many, okay, uh, was it last week bagged, um, bagged salad from, uh, from, South America came in and about 400 people got sick. Hmm. And GOP leaders halt debate on austere spending bills. Well, because um, Boehner, Boehner has lost total control of the House of Representatives. He knows it. Basically, the House wants to stop spending. Boehner wants to go with the 38 Republicans who are actually going to not get reelected re and go support the president's plan for getting rid of sequester and increased spending. And advocates prepare to press for citizenship as Congress leads for recess with little done on immigration reform. It's not going to happen because um, this is, I'm listening to somebody that's fairly smart. Actually, 
I was listening to a, a, a left-wing newspaper man who said, uh, specifically last night on, on Reuters, he said, the Republicans didn't get any Latin votes before they had immigration reform, and it's not likely they're going to get any Latin votes. No matter if they give them the vote, they're not going to get it. If they don't give them the vote, they're not going to get it. So they lose nothing by doing nothing. They say, well, Rubio said, well, these people aren't, you know, they're off the map. No, they're not, because they know where every single one of them is. Because, they're, they, okay, here's the way it works is, you can do a lot of things in this universe. You can get a, you can drive a car without a license. You can buy stuff without a credit card. You can't rent, a, you can't move into a rental without having the power turned on. They know where you're all at, folks. And Mitch McConnell faces trouble inside the Beltway and beyond. Well, yeah, the Republicans in the House, Senate are pissed at him, and they're, they're, uh, he, they're not, they don't take, um, you know, actually judge serious, but they take the governor of the state very serious who's running against him. He said he's younger, he basically believes that you basically, ha okay, it, like I heard him say, let's see, the Republicans gave up to pay, protect the right to filibuster, they gave the President of the United States his recess appointments, and the next day the court ruled that his resource appointments were illegal. Then the Republicans basically gave up their right to stop the, stop the recess appointment of his Commerce Secretary, and the very next day the court ruled the President had no right to do it. He said Republicans are getting nothing in return for court victories. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And delay of impl oh, Mitch McConnell faces trouble inside the Beltway and beyond. Yeah, she likes that one. That's oh. how we always know we're live because she reads the same. And that's thing why he, and he remembers and I know. Yeah. Um, delay of employer penalties will cost the government twelve billion dollars. Actually, it's up to sixteen billion as of today, and it can't happen because, um, they, like some of the senators said, well, they don't really care what Mitch McConnell said. They don't care what John McCain says. They don't care what uh, you know. Any of those senators that are caved in to the Democrats are saying it's unconstitutional and it's illegal for the president to pick and choose parts of the law he wants to. Look, you remember he did it with the Marriage Act, which basically was rule constitutional. They said, but you have to, you cannot, you cannot deny federal benefits. Hmm. But they didn't say you couldn't, you know, they, they couldn't recognize the marriage between a male and a female. It just says you can't deny federal benefits. But um, you know, it's just ridiculous, folks. I mean, he's, you know, they figure that he will get everything he wants as he does virtually every time. Remember, sequester was his idea, and the Democrats created it. Mm -hmm. And Jack Lew, Detroit will have to work with its creditors to resolve bankruptcy. That's both famous last words. This morning, Obama is talking to the union leadership about bailing Detroit out in order that they can keep their pensions because here's a good one. They figured out a neat, the guy that's the controller of the city that was appointed by the government. There's doggies. Yeah, had decided that uh, what we're going to do is we can't afford the insurance policies for all the pensioners and all the city employees. So we're going to enroll them all in Obamacare and let the federal government pay for all of it. Well, the union didn't like that. Well, we're not going to have the pensions we had. We're not going to have our health care. We don't like it. So they're going to court to stay off of Obamacare, as the uh, as did the head of the uh, Turner Rivers. I wouldn't take Obamacare. <laughs> so isn't that a great one? Those are great advertisements that no unions want it. All the city and all the city and state workers are being pushed over on it because the city can't afford it and the state can't afford it, and none of the unions want it, and the federal unions don't want it. And Jack Lew, Detroit, will have to work with its creditors to resolve bankruptcy. No, we just Oh, yeah. That. U.S. Senate panel approves bill to bolster FHA finances. I know, but there's Democrats again, because the Democrats want to keep funding something that basically doesn't make any money anymore. And House Republicans to push $40 billion cut to food stamp program. And if, you know, if they cut $40 billion out of the food stamp program, they only return it to what it was two years ago. That's it? That's it. Oh. And feds for school district to allow transgender girls to use boys' bathrooms and locker rooms. That's never going to happen because they will go to court and the Supreme Court are going to say you cannot order that, uh, that, that gay males be allowed to go into the girls' room. And Remember how they have separate but equal when it comes to mm -hmm. athletic events? Same way with bathrooms. Men are not allowed in women's bathrooms. Women can, you know, it, it, that won't happen. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this is a good one. The president does this all the time. Go big or not at all.